What is up, everybody? My name is Sam, and this is the Internet Where Things Happen, and I'm here today with my friend Zach. Hello. Zach James. Um, and we're going to play a, play a casual game of snooker. Yeah, just shoot the shit, hit some balls, mm-hmm. slap yeah. some balls, as Sam likes to Slapping say. Slapping some balls. <laughs> yeah, so this is, I, um, this is Q Club 2. This is on uh, Steam, um, and it's actually, uh, so it's got a whole bunch. It's got 8-Ball, it's got Euro 8-Ball, which is an interesting one. It's got snooker, it's got all sorts of pool games. It's a good time. So I'll get it set up. Uh, do you want to do uh, best of three or best of uh, five? Let's do best of three. All right. Um, let's hop right into it. All right. Sam, break. All right. So snooker is interesting. So you're supposed to go for the red balls first yes and so oh shit immediately opening well you hate to see it you really do so i I know this is gonna date the episode sam but actually um just some exciting news uh the world tournament for snooker starts on like april 13th i believe Ooh, and okay. i have never been more excited to actually like watch some kind of sporting event in my life than i am to yeah. try and watch the world tournament of snooker live I ca- yeah i kind of want to watch that that's really cool so, so basically with snooker you get in a red ball each red ball is worth one point and then after you get sink a red ball you can go for a colorful ball and each color ball is worth a certain amount of points. I think it's like and one through seven points. I think because uh, because I know the pink one or yellow one is one. Two, uh, then you yeah. then you hit in this one. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, and also yeah. the order we just went in. You know, uh, yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, black is. Well, you have to shoot them in order after you've sunk all the red balls to right. win. So you, you can shoot any of them in. Oh, fuck! Ooh. Uh, after you get a red ball and you can shoot any of them in to get those points. Well, but you, well, you have to nominate the color and you have to hit that color and sink that color. Shit. So, like, I just I just got a foul. So you'll get extra points yeah. because... Uh, because I did not hit... The, the ball that was not on, quote-unquote. So... You either have your red balls that are on, or you have to nominate your color and then hit and sink that color. And it has to be the first one you hit uh, for that turn, or else it doesn't count. Right. And then if, um, then once all the red balls are gone, you you have to sink the colored balls in order. Yes. (sighs) Damn it. Oh, that one got in your way, that's why. Yeah. My trajectory was not on point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that one's gonna, that one's gonna yeah, fuck you let's up. see. Ah, that would have been cool had I landed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's interesting because like, despite like living in England for a time, I don't, I never really understood snooker or like what the difference between snooker and pool was. And so like, I played this with you a couple of times off camera and um, it's been really interesting kind of like learning Whoa. That was interesting learning, like, how you what? slingshotted it around the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Learning like like anyway, learning about snooker and like all that stuff. It's pretty it's an, it's a very interesting game. Well I, I, actually, it, I almost Oh go ahead, I'm sorry. I think it's like more interesting than pool, like it, straight up pool. It, it, it is, in fact, and especially it's really interesting when you watch it, um, like professionally played. I actually got into I only got into snooker like in like February of this year. Um because I was bored at work, so I was looking up uh, nine ball rules for pool. And uh, just to learn how to play, because I, I really enjoy playing pool and I want to learn how to play more than just eight ball. Mm-hmm. And um, and then a thing popped up from the same channel where it's like, oh, the rules of snooker. And I was like, what the fuck is snooker? Like, I've always heard of it. <laughs> I actually remember, I remember the first time I ever heard of snooker was when I was reading the, I think it was the third Artemis Fowl book. I don't know if you've ever read that series or not. I think you would enjoy um. it. Yeah, I, it, was, it was it was a big like school school time thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, and I, I always just thought that was a British word for pool. So then it popped up and it was like, oh, these are the rules for snooker. And I was like, this looks awesome. I am all about this. You're in a shitty spot, dude. 
I'm in a really I would recommend I, I would go for the blue and try to bank it. That's what I'm thinking too. Um Ugh. and then so I started like watching tournaments and all that. And the cool thing about Snooker oh shit. Oh shit. that's a foul. Um mm. the cool thing about like watching professional snooker players is they're so strategic about it. So like say they don't have a shot, is they will take it to where it'll like just sort of glance off one of these and then the ball would end up like in this corner behind the brown, so you'd have no fucking shot. You know, it's so strategic how they basically fuck over their opponents while they're playing. Yeah, well, so as you're watching this, you might have seen, like, when either of us have gotten fouls, you can either play, you can take your turn, or you can make the other person take their turn again. And so it's like, if you, if they have found themselves in a position where they have, like, a terrible shot where they're just gonna, where they're gonna lose more points, um, you can make them do it again and like force them to basically lose points, and it's very strategic on like how you like <gasps> fuck over your. Wow! Whoa! Holy shit! Damn. But yeah, it's very interesting. Oh! Whoa. Damn. So what would have been seven points for me now goes to Sam because I I fouled and sunk the or I scratched on the um on sinking the black ball. And so there is one, there is actually a maneuver, it's called the 147. Because there are 147 total points you can get when you start the game. And how that works in, it's been awesome to watch guys do it. I'm really hoping I get to see one live while I'm watching the World Tournament this year. Um, is basically the, you know, whoever shoots the opening break, they hit, for every red ball they hit in, they manage to get the black ball in. And then they, they shoot them all in an order, and it gets them 100, uh, 147 points. So literally, if you're able to shoot 147, uh, your opponent never even stands up to the table. It's incredible to watch. I bet, you was, I bet that's like super demoralizing, though, for the opponent. Just oh, like, it's Jesus. really funny to watch, honestly, because you just see them slump lower and lower and lower into their chair as the game goes on. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna no. I'm just gonna kiss off of more. that one. Yeah, kiss. Yeah, yeah. Give me a little kiss. Kiss it. Kiss it. No, kiss. kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it. And of course I, I I'm a I'm a fucking cheater in this game and that I actually I absolutely use that little trajectory line. <laughs> oh yeah. I do it too. I mean <laughs> It's there for a reason. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if they didn't want you to use it, they wouldn't have put it in the game. Exactly. I do Not all of us are math ahead. geniuses. You know? Yeah, seriously. Not all of us are math geometry geniuses. Yeah, I never took physics. I actually never did take physics. My, my highest, mm. uh, like, proper, like, Jesus. prereq uh, science that I took was chemistry. And I didn't even go to mm. my final for that. I, uh... <laughs> Because my final was two days after I left for basic training. Oh, jeez. Dude, you keep on getting so close to scratching. All luck, no skill. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts, head empty. Shoot the ball. <laughs> shoot the ball, boy. Shoot the ball, shoot the ball, shoot the ball, shoot the, shoot the, ball, ball, shoot the ball. Don't scratch, shoot the ball. Clean, clean. Clean. Clean shot. Take the shot. President Kennedy has been assassinated. <laughs> Clean. I've noticed I only do that whenever we're playing this game. I know, you just get very specifically, like, that voice. <laughs> Clean. Clean. <laughs> the second shooter was on the grassy knoll. Clean. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I don't really have a great shot at any of the red balls, though. That's a problem. Also, it was funny, too, when I, uh... Yeah, you do right there. Fucking lower oh, yeah. corner pocket. Yeah. <laughs> People are watching this like, why are they helping each other? Like, aren't they supposed to be competing against each other? <laughs> because we're friends. Yeah. Karen. Shut up. Shut Karen. up, Bethany. Ah, oh, damn it. Bethany. No. Ooh! No! Oh, fuck! <sighs> oh. Yeah, you didn't leave me any good shots except for that one. 
I also totally forgot that you can actually shoot backwards on this. So I made... <laughs> oh! oh. I, was, I would have been so fucking pissed. I watched this one video, dude, where the, the guy... Because I guess it's kind of the same rules where if you scratch on the last uh, last one, you lose as well. And so this guy oh, does this awesome shot where he uh, he shoots it into the what would be oriented here, the top right corner pocket. Um, but like the the Q has this like amazing backspin on it where it goes backwards. Oh no, that's a different video. Um, but what he does is he shoots it and it fucking sinks and he steps away and he's like fucking. Uh, cheered himself on and all that, and then it fucking goes. It goes here. It goes right into this pocket. <laughs> the crowd cheer. Chow Yu Peng will have to wait for victory. Hold on a minute. Wow. He's in off. Mark Allen eleven. Chow Yu Peng seven. Frame and the match. It's the end of the match. They cut away from the table. And just at the last moment, the white went in. Everyone at the Crucible in disbelief. We are here in the commentary box. Chow Yu Peng is through by 10 frames to six, but what a cruel conclusion. The one I was thinking of, it was, I believe it was Ronnie O'Sullivan who played it, who was like the best snooker player of all time. Uh, he shot the last, or he shot um, a red ball into here, but he put such a backspin on it that it fucking went like, and then stopped right here. It was incredible. Damn. Yeah, I, I'll put snooker uh, tournaments on on my uh, computer at work just as background noise. Yeah, just to like, yeah, I mean, it's just very cool. I like, I I think like it's it's another like, like watching like regular like regular sports like basketball, football stuff like that. Like that takes a tremendous amount of skill, but like pool snooker like games like this like it takes a lot of like brain power to like it, figure it, out it does yeah and like i said w watch like <sighs> watch the professionals play and just how they're able to just sort like just how their brains work to get the trajectory and everything is incredible oh my god because I, I, I wouldn't like athletic maybe not the word for it but it's absolutely a sport like it's just like oh, it's a it's more of a mathematical sport than anything it's yeah. like it's like how chess is it chess is a sport I, mm -hmm. I defy I defy anyone to tell me that chess is not and I god damn this blue ball is the bane of my existence uh, I defy oh, anyone to tell it? me that chess is not a fucking what, stop blue balling me Sam got enough of that in yeah, dream chess, daddy chess oh my god chess is absolutely a sport do you remember like back in the day when like people would argue that like uh, cheerleading wasn't a sport uh, I vaguely remember that but that was also back was like, when I didn't care about sports, so I was like, whatever. That's fair. Yeah, there was like a bunch of people like back in the day, like that was like that was like the 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 big topic of like discussion in, in when I was in school was people would just be like, oh, cheerleading is not a sport, and it's just like, what what about it says that it's not a sport to you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, it's incredibly physically demanding. Yeah, I actually was not a very athletic kid growing up. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't really get into like working out or anything until I was well in the army, and even then, like you know, like lift, you know, shit like that. Right. Um, did you ever do any sports growing up? Um, I did soccer for a little while. That's how I hurt my knee um, initially. Gotcha. And then every time I would play sports after that, I would hurt my knee more, and so I was just like, maybe it's not for me. Maybe sports are not um, are not my forte. My brother did like a Lions Club soccer. Do, do you have? Did they have Lions Clubs where you were like that kind of? Basically, it was just like extracurricular, purely extracurricular. Like the school wasn't really involved at all. Yeah, yeah, that was that was what I played. Because I did. Uh, I remember I did little league, uh, which I was mm. terrible at. I was I was the right I was the right outfielder. Um, ooh, yes! Oh my god! Um, clean, 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 clean. The challenger has exploded. Clean. Um, yeah, I was a right outfielder and I was terrible at it. Fucking blue ball. And, um, Fucking blue ball. And that was, I think, my fifth grade year. And then in seventh and eighth grade, I wrestled. I was terrible at it. Um, ooh. Oh. 
Out of two years, I only won two matches, and they were both in my second year. Um, mm -hmm. And then in tenth grade, I did half a season of track as a shot put thrower, and uh, oh, wow. and was it was not I was not good at it, and uh, and it was a waste of time. So I told my dad that, and at that point, he was like, he was like, all right, he's like, you don't have to do it. <laughs> you weren't gonna rest until you got that blue ball in, were you? Uh, no, that was just the clean. That was just the cleanest shot that I had. <laughs> Damn it! No! <laughs> oh! I think that one might give you that a free ball too. Maybe. No. I, that would the um the the agony of that. Like if it would have gone in, the yellow ball would have gone in as well. After you got the scratch, that would have been really insulting. Oh right there. yeah. Just gonna, just gonna kiss it. <laughs> Playing with fire, my friend. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, how do you get a it's green? It's down at the bottom. Green, clean, green, 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 clean, green. Yeah. I don't think there is. Mm. You might have to bank it off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this. Well, so what was funny too is I hit my stepmother because my my stepmother is actually she's. She's not British, but she was raised in England. Um, and I asked her, I, or I told her, I was like, hey, you know, guess what I just got really into? And she's like, what? And I was like, snooker. She's like, oh, that's awesome. And I was like, did you ever used to play? She goes, I'd play like occasionally when we'd be hanging out at the pubs or whatever. But apparently her brother uh, used to uh, used to actually do like low level like tournaments and shit like that. Really? Yeah. So I need to hit him up sometime and be like, hey. Or do you used to play snooker like almost professionally? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Yeah. All right. Uh... Hey! Oh. Nice. Stop! Stop! Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can still get that in. Yeah, I think it's like, I, I think like even if I get these last three in myself, like I still lose. Well, yeah, because I'm leading by 36 and there's only 18 points. So also, if you, if, yeah. so the computer loves doing this too, where I'll be kicking the shit out of it. So then it'll fucking go to the menu, match information, and just concede. Um, but you and I are big boys. We play through to the end. <laughs> play to the end. So, so, yeah. So remind me, how long were you in uh, were you in England for? Um, about four and a half years, five years. That must have been pretty um, interesting. But you were on like an American was, base, right? Yeah, yeah. But we 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 didn't live on the base though. We lived uh, we lived um we lived off base, about thirty minutes away. Oh, it was nice. New market. So I'm guessing you went to school just like a local school then, or did you go to school on the base? No, actually, I went to school. I went to school on the base, but oh, they, so you had a 30 minute like, drive to and from school every day? Well, I took the bus. They had they 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 had like charter buses that they would like send to pick up kids that were far away. Oh, okay. From the that's pretty cool school. Yeah, yeah. I never, you know, I never. <laughs> I was lucky that I avoided the whole military brat lifestyle because um, mm -hmm. my dad got off active duty pretty much before I was or right around the time that I was born. Um, so, I mean, my biggest moves were like moving from living with my dad to my mom and then back to my, or, yeah. or living with my mom and then going from my mom back to my dad. Um, and then I had one school change after that because I, when I lived with my dad, I went to fourth grade at one school and then I switched over to actually the school that he went to um, all the way up until he moved into Texas when he was like 16. Um, we won. <laughs> we did it. So I found that this is the optimal breaking position at about anywhere yeah. between 50 to 65. Because any more than that, and it does exactly what it did to you, where it just fucking launches you into the uh, into the fucking corner pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, I find that it's actually like I didn't really. Like, I have a couple of people that I still keep up with from like my days as a military brat. But I didn't find that I started making like really good lifelong friends until I like my dad got out of the military and I we settled down. I have a couple of friends that I would consider lifelong friends from my time like doing all of that. But it, it's you know 
I didn't like the bulk of people that I know that I really consider like good friends. I I didn't meet them until way later in life. Oh, that Ugh. sucks. God. When did your dad get out of the military? Uh, 2008. Oh. He retired in 2008. He spent 20 years in. Nice. Um, 20 years in, and then he and we we kind of we talked about this in the um the Proteus. Uh, episode that we did, but he got out like he got out in 2008 specifically because he wanted to like come back to Ohio and you know spend time with uh, his dad, my grandpa, before um, he passed. And, right, that's right. Um, you did mention that. I just don't mm-hmm. think you mentioned the mm-hmm. date at the time. No, 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 yeah, but that was in 2008 when he retired officially. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was it was a good time. Like I can't say like you know. No, that would be good. That's the one I hit if it went in. <laughs> no, I know, but like I was just like, is uh, it gonna make it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I wouldn't. I would not tr- trade that. Ex- oh no, fuck. Oh fuck. Ah oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> can I do this one? Can he do it? This time on Snooker, Snooker with Wolves. <laughs> Unleash the wolves. No, he can't. Oh, you gave me a um, shitty fucking positioning though. <laughs> Oh my uh, god! <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think I. I, I, I don't think I, I. wouldn't trade. Oh fuck! I wouldn't trade the experience of doing it for anything. Like it was a, such a great experience, and I'd love to go back as an adult. The the one benefit that I did because because um, before my parents split up. Um, oh nice! Yeah. Uh, before my parents split up, we were actually stationed in England uh, before, and. Um, uh, Your best bet would be go for the blue one. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but I was like, I was like two at the time, and so I didn't really remember any of it. But I'm lucky, yes, that I got a chance to go back. Um, not as an adult, but old enough that I remember my experience. Yeah. Well, it's like the last time I was in England was we did a family trip in like 2007, I think. Hmm. So like I'd love to go back. Yeah, I, What's that? I was gonna say because yeah, I spent I spent middle school and my first two years of high school in England. That must um, have been pretty neat. It was pretty cool. Ooh, it's a, it's a risky shot. It is. You've got the brown down there in the lower left as your safety, or the green. Uh, well, do well, well. No, I. Well, I got the green as my safety because I can't go for the brown unless I. Cause oh, I yeah, that's blue, right. So. I didn't even see the blue. Yeah, I'm gonna try the green. Green, green, clean, green, simple, clean, <laughs> simple, green cleans weapons well. <laughs> it does actually. What is is it like a oh, is it like a uh, like a cleaner or something? Simple green, yeah. It's just like a generic like household cleaner. Gotcha. I'm gonna hit this guy if I go for this guy. This might be my best bet. Do it. Just, just whip it. Shit whip it. Shit whip that bitch! <laughs> this week on Shit Whip That Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> guest stars. Heard you Ke- like to sh- Guest stars Keegan Michael <laughs> Key and Frankie Muniz. <laughs> Frankie Muniz. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Why do you like the shit whip? So we put some shit in your whip so you can whip while you shit. Frankie Muniz just has a fucking breakdown. And our <laughs> guest contender Shia LaBeouf, and he just starts beating Frankie Muniz with a garden hose. Shit. I don't want to downplay the image of Shia LaBeouf hitting Frankie Muniz with a garden hose, but God. No, not just hitting. Beating. 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 Oh, that would have been a fucking cool shot. <laughs> Ooh, I like the idea. Of, I like the idea of uh, Frankie Muniz being the being the character that fights Shia LaBeouf and Shia LaBeouf Live. <laughs> oh! <Fuck! laughs> 
Can't win for fucking losing, dude. Oh my god. What'd you say? I said can't win for losing. <laughs> oh my god. That sucks. I had a funny moment uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, me and my buddy Patrick, who we actually we met in Afghanistan, and now we work uh, a, one aisle across from each other in our current job. Oh, nice. And um, so we started going out for lunch just because it gives us a fucking refresh from the office. And uh, we're driving in this car, and we just pull out pull out of the parking lot past the car check, and I just go. <laughs> Just like that. And he's already laughing. And he looks at me and just laughing. And I look at him and I was like, oh yeah, sorry. I was uh I was just thinking about when they replaced Steve with Joe on Blue's Clues. <laughs> to which it got him laughing even harder. You know what the funny thing is? I think that if I was in a car with you and you did that, I would just kind of look at you. And then look back because it's so normal for you to do shit like that. <laughs> that's why, I've known you for so long at this point. That's why I can't wait to like hang out with you in person. Because you're just gonna do that shit all the time. <laughs> it's it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good. Out there like saluting birds and shit as they're walking by. People are just looking at you like it's okay, it's normal. He has he a really, condition. He really He's likes weird. birds. <laughs> this is my special friend. <laughs> special friend where where, where where where's your where's your parking lot buddy you know you need your parking lot buddy your parking lot buddy your accountability buddy oh. to quote uh, south park <laughs> <laughs> you need your accountability buddy go in go in up there fuck you god that's okay red ball i'll take you home kiss <laughs> Don't look at the viewers like that. They didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> Makes me so mad. So mad. <laughs> I missed the first time we played this when I fucking killed it. The first time I ever played it. You did. Either. You fucking killed it. I fucking crushed, dude. I was so happy. Well, there's still 67 course, points on the table. You may fucking bring it back. There... That's true. Never say never. I'm just like, of course, when it's, you know... Unless... For, um, for, well, never say never, unless you've got a, some communist bitch trying to honeypot you to steal secrets, then you could say never. Then you could say never. That's true. I'm just like, but of course, when it, like, when it counts... <laughs> oh, on my channel... <laughs> you can't... I can't, I can't, like, I can't seal the like deal. Three, three months from now, I'm like, hey Sam, whatever happened to that snooker footage? You're like, oh, yeah, uh, the, the footage is corrupted. <laughs> it's gonna be so shitty because, like, I, 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 if it actually does get corrupted, you're gonna side eye me so fucking hard. Oh, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep this file backed up just in case. So when you're like, just oh, I don't know what happened to it's like, oh, Zach, your audio, it broke. It's like, you motherfucker, I got it right here. Yeah. Oh, it's been shared, bitch. <laughs> it's been shared. Check your email, bitch. Go cook some I, it math, reminds bitch. Me like, it reminds me of, like, the times that we would play, like, those times we played Smash Bros. together. Fuck! We need to do that again. We do. But it reminds me of those times we played Smash Bros. together. And I, um, cause I'm like, I'm like decent at Smash Bros. I wouldn't say I'm like tournament level, like anywhere close to, but I'm pretty good at like casual Smash Bros. And Zach just fucking dominates me every time we play Smash. Well, I haven't, and I've been I practicing haven't, with some of the, I haven't played in a while and I also have not played with any of the new characters. So I have, yeah, I mean, who knows? I've been practicing with the newest character, the newest DLC character. Who is that? Um, uh, Pira. Who the fuck is Pira? And... Pira and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, I've never even touched those games. Oh, that was close. <laughs> was close. Um, but the, I mean, the character, the characters are great, and I'm like, I'm like getting really, I'm pretty good with them. Damn it. Um, uh, so I've been like whip, I've been like shit whipping level nine computers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I was actually on a Twitch stream 
uh, one of my friends, I just kind of like randomly jumped in and played Smash Bros. Um, and uh, was doing pretty damn good. Joe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and we also still need to do the uh, the clubhouse 50, 51, 52. Yeah, we do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yikes! Oh yeah. Ah Ooh. fuck! Ooh. Damn. I feel like those would be a good one like this, where we'll just be having a conversation as we're playing, you know? Yeah. The Club S51? Oh, absolutely. Until we start playing oh, yeah. fucking Sorry, and I start having a goddamn mental breakdown, like the time I played it with Vic. <laughs> I can't tell if that was a foul or not. Nope, you are no, good. I, I wasn't sure either. Get out of here, Ben. That's my brother, Fetal Pig. I don't know why the f Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna... I was like looking at it and I was like, Fetal Pig. I mean, that's better than his last one. His last one was Helen Keller. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my god. So, I saw, so a lot of times when I'm listening to music, when I go to sleep, is all, I like to listen to Pandora on my computer. But my computer likes to just be like, nah, I'm gonna go to sleep anyway, even though you're actively listening to music. So what I've started mm -hmm. doing is putting on like 48 hours of black screen, you know, and on YouTube, and I'll just full screen it. So yeah, the screens, because for some reason this screen is like at night has the intensity of the sun, um, and uh, but I pulled it up last night and it was like in your recommended, and it was a 24 hour video of just a black screen that said a a, a day in the life of Helen Keller. <laughs> I was like, that's not okay, but it's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you bitch! Whoa. You bitch! Whoa! Buzz's girlfriend! <laughs> Woof! <laughs> wow, good Home Alone reference, dude. Thank you. I don't even know if that's gonna... Can I, can I even get that? Nope. Fucking shot it into another Damn. orbit. <laughs> that was not a kiss. Not clean, not clean. Ragged edge of the sleep. Is that anything? Is that anything? Maybe that a shallow be. angle into that one. Ooh. Ooh. Also, I, I hate to be that guy, Sam, but you're Damn. just delaying the inevitable because there's only 27 points left on the, on the table. Oh, I know. I know, but like we said, we're big boys. We play to the end no matter what. Play to the end. Play to the end. Clean. Clean. I know that I've lost, but I'm playing... At this point, there's no honor in there's no honor in uh, surrender. <laughs> that's, that's not true, I guess. Like a Japanese general, circa World War II. <laughs> Could be. There's no honor in surrender. Oh my God, they dropped the sun on us twice. Ooh, we gotta surrender. <laughs> I think surrendering might be the more honorable decision. <laughs> There's no honor in surrender, bitches. <laughs> Sam Wright, 1943, right before charging yep. a machine gun nest. Fuck, dude. Running it. Clean, clean. Oh, I was doing so good. You was doing so I good. Was doing he was so running good. the table. He was running the table, Paulie. I saw them. You saw him. You saw him running the table. I saw. I saw him. I saw it. I saw. Fuck. I saw it with my own eyes, Paulie. Paulie, I saw him with my own two Paulie eyes. Paulie Walnuts. <laughs> You'll never believe it. That was fucking Ralph. Or was it? Uh, no, uh, Anthony Cicero's uh, character in uh, Sopranos. His nickname is Paulie Walnuts. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kiff. Kiff. Now Kiff.
Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, oh. wait, wait. <laughs> Thanks for that setup, Sam. <laughs> well, I guess with that, it's <laughs> the episode. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>